Not in the French kiss. Look at my first interview in my... Hi guys welcome back or welcome to my channel my name is Aaliyah and in this video I'm going to take you guys along a productive week in my life so let's get into the video I'm going to head out to the library because I need to do work for my job you guys already know I'm like a research coordinator I feel like I always say that I have to do work for my job but I'll like go in and explain it a little bit more so basically I am in the next process of my job work. So right now I'm writing a paper because your girl's trying to get published by the end of the month. So in two weeks. And so I actually have a deadline. And I've been procrastinating work for my job because I've been doing a lot of like my secondaries because I'm also applying to medical school. And it's been like really stressful because I've been prioritizing my secondaries instead of like balancing them both. And so my procrastination caught up to me and now my supervisor wants me to wants to see um the results for one of my section and I'm like I haven't even finished transcribing the results and I have to send it to her by Wednesday which is tomorrow so I'm like when someone says you have to send it by Wednesday I mean send it to them on Wednesday right because that's what I'm gonna do it so basically I need to do that also I have like a bunch of secondaries that are due today and tomorrow that have not even started writing. So it's like I have to also do that. So I'm like, I'm really stressed out. Like, please don't let like my face fool you. Like your girl is stressed out. But I'm keeping it positive. We're going to make it through. I'm just going to take it hour by hour. But I'm going to go ahead and head out to the library to do work. I'm, my goal is to try to finish all the work for my job at the library so that when I get home, I can just email it to her. And then go ahead and just focus on my secondaries. Because I actually, like, as much as I complain about writing secondaries, I feel like I actually enjoy it. But before I stop, I'm going to go to Dunkin' Donut because I have, like, this free $2 drink. So I'm going to go to Dunkin' Donut, get a drink. And it's close to the library, so, like, everything basically works out. <laughs> Jalila and I are on our way to Dunkin' Donuts. We're gonna, oh my god, so zoomed in. How do you think? We're both hey vlogging. Guys, oh, so. sorry for that chaos. Jalila and I are on our way. We're gonna walk to Dunkin' Donuts to get our drink mm -hmm. and then we're gonna head back to the library. I'm really proud of my progress because I was able to do, I'm almost what done with. What do you even do? I'm transcripting um, the coding for my job. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you, like, good? Like, um, Yeah, that one's easy. The problem okay. with me is the writing because I can't write. I'm like, I'm a science major, what? Yes, I am on my way to Dunkin' Donuts and after I'm going to go back to the library and finish doing um, the coding for my job. I just did the calculations of how much Lila is getting paid at her internship <laughs> and she's getting paid $10, $10.50 an hour. Yeah. $10.50 an hour, that is below minimum wage. The fact that there's internships and people are working 40 hours a week yeah. and they're not getting paid. Like it's serious. Like, it's a serious issue. That's an issue. I do. That's uh, that. There should be a law. Like that should be against the law. Like there's no way that someone should be doing an internship and not getting paid for it. And it definitely puts I think they have low income power. people and they put lights and it's a low income people at a disadvantage. Internships are not poor people friendly and they are for rich people. Internships, higher education. That's why you know the unpaid internships who are the ones who are able to do it people who are rich know why because they already have money so they can sacrifice like their parents are giving them money they can sacrifice it but if you're poor like us you need an internship that's paid or if you're doing a non-paid internship you also have like another job on the side and that's like my problem that's my problem with it sorry that's like my two cents we need to make some change Joe Biden where you're at I'm just kidding thanks I'm taking it back and setting out the gift from the bed while focus on the things that got nothing to add After all, I'm at a place I never thought I'd get that so, I just woke up, got ready to the shower 
Um, at 8 o'clock, I have a monthly meeting for my job. So basically, every month we have like a monthly meeting where everyone from the center meets and we basically like kind of give updates on what we've been up to. It's a 30 minute meeting. Like this meeting goes by really fast. So I'm not mad that it's at 8 a.m. Plus, you guys already know I'm like up at 6 a.m. So 8 a.m. is nothing to me. I think after the meeting, I won't do any work um, on my research project because you guys already saw like yesterday I spent most of the whole day doing it plus i have to hold on i made a list of how many like schools i need to submit today i need to submit four schools and then i also need to complete four schools and then out of my list of the ones that um i want to submit two of them are actually due today so i actually really need to you know be on top of it and i really like to just like submit them before like I, there's not really a time so basically it's not really due today because there's like a two week like the deadline's in december but when you're writing secondaries you want to get it into the schools within two weeks like you don't want to wait um long periods of time like you know what i mean it's kind of like this unspoken thing like do it in two weeks even though they say oh we have two deadlines in december it's like no do it within two weeks so my two week mark is today for those two schools so i'm going to have to go ahead and do that i also want to go to the library because i have some books on the shelf that are on hold for me as well as i want to read my book at the library but yeah i think that's what i'm going to be doing today and also i need to edit youtube because like i made the mistake by posting <laughs> that i'm posting a video tomorrow because i thought yesterday when i said that it was monday but it's actually was tuesday and i'm like I don't want to let you guys down so i need to work on this youtube video but yeah that's it and then for breakfast i'm just having this chobani yogurt um if i get hungry i'm just gonna go ahead and eat like maybe after my meeting if i'm hungry but i'm tired of like forcing myself to eat breakfast because in the mornings like i'm not really hungry right now but i know i have to eat something so i'm just gonna have a yogurt but um i just want to start eating when i'm hungry if that makes sense Okay, so Jalila and I just got some books from the library. By the way, um, please check out books from your local library because when you have a library card and you check out books, they get more funding and they can buy more books. Also, I don't believe in buying books really? if it's free. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Did you just make that up? No, I didn't make it up. Oh. I, I feel like, yeah, it does. Right? Bye. Bye. Um, I didn't make that up. Oh, I didn't know. Okay, anyways, I got. So I got Anna and the French Kiss. It's like a romance book. Um, it's about a girl who, um, it's a high school book, but listen, 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 listen. Listen, listen, listen. Have you seen that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, listen, but, listen. But she's, okay, it's in high school, but listen, okay? Um, so like, she's so excited, you know what I mean? It's like the wild child like movie, okay? Mm -hmm. She's so excited, like she's gonna go back. She finally has a chance with her crush. Everything's gonna be good her senior year, but boom, she shipped off to boarding school in Paris and meets a guy. <laughs> you guys already know. That is so childish. I don't like that one. What? I mean, no. High school, I no, 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 it's cute. Guys, it's cute. Read. It's because, okay, maybe that's, okay, I can't read high school books and anymore. He are, and he already um, has a serious girlfriend, so I don't know, I like those books. We'll see, honestly, guys, give it a chance. Okay. Anna and French Kid, it's kind of I like, might read that then. That hurt my feelings. She said that she was doing all this talking. Show us one book. Okay. <laughs> my turn. So the first one, I'm going to start with this one. I got what? People. I the told people you about that we, one. I know you did. The people we meet on vacation. And I don't really know what it's about, but I think it's best friends to lovers. Right? It's a best friend to lover. It's basically about this girl. Um, she meets this guy in college. Like, mind you, like this is like 10 years later. They meet this guy in college mm -hmm. and they become best friends. And every year they go on a vacation, something happens, whatever. Like they have feelings for each other but no one acts on it. And you guys already know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't spoil. I know. If you like dystopian books, definitely read Hunger Games, um, Divergent, and the Red Queen series. Those are the three um, 
dystopian books I've read so far and I love them. Actually, there's more and I'll probably do like uh, another video on it. The next one is Swear on This Life. It's a childhood to lovers. <laughs> Child oh, really? Wait, childhood, childhood like friends to lovers. Oh, Sorry, I need yeah. that. And then this one is Good Girl Complex. I don't know. I think this is enemies to lovers. Actually, I don't. I don't know if it's enemies to lovers, but it's just basically about a girl who goes and she moves to a rich town, and like this guy, like you know, he's like rich and all that. Ooh, she thinks come in. she thinks that he's like the other guys, but then he's not. He actually like likes her and stuff. Like, Lay, oh my god! Oh, you're not like the other guys. You're mysterious. <laughs> like the look at the different. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> by the way, read um, Confess by Colleen Hooper. Okay guys, so I got a poke bowl and I have edamame, salmon. Poke. It's poke. Anyway, so I got a bowl and it has salmon, um, spicy tuna, edamame, ginger, rice. I'm so excited to eat this. I haven't had this in forever. So I'm going to the beach and I want to show you guys what I am bringing. Got my retainers, my glasses so that I can actually see. Honestly guys, I need to stop pretending that 2020 vision because your girl doesn't and I need to stop it. My book, lotion because who wants to be ashy at the beach? Not me. Anyways, let's go. Black leather glove, no secret. Buckles on the jacket, it's elite shit. Nike crossbody, got a piece in. Gotta dance, but it's really on some street shit. Hi. I'ma show you how to get it. It go right foot up, left foot slide, left foot up, right foot slide. Basically, I'm saying either way we bout to slide. Oh, Can't let this one slide. Don't you wanna dance with me? No, I could dance like Michael Jackson. I could get you the passion. It's a thriller in the track. Where we from? Baby, don't you wanna dance with me? No, I could dance like Michael J. Son, I could get you satisfaction. And you know we out here every day with it. I'ma show you how to get it. It go right foot up, left foot slide, left foot up, right foot slide. Basically, I'm saying either way we bout to slide. Can't let this one slide. time to like relax and like sleep in so I went good and I you know slept in um wait I have two emails let's see any more secondaries oh my god I got my first interview invite oh no no it's too early I'm supposed to get in August. Oh my god, I did not expect I was gonna get an interview bite this early. Oh my god, okay, wait. Oh yeah, I deleted it! Oh my god, wait, I delete. why did I delete it? Guys, I deleted it on accident. <gasps> wait, I need it back. Come back! Five minutes later. Got it back. Oh my god, okay, hold on, it says, Dear Leah Flavia, congratulations. We would like to invite you for an interview. Outstanding applicants such as yourself are selected after a rigorous screening process <gasps> they call me outstanding oh my god i got my first interview in my i can't believe it <laughs> okay so i am going out with my friend crystal right now i have to go ahead and pick her up so i want to go ahead i need you guys to help me pick an outfit i think i'm gonna go ahead and wear this little top Okay, the problem with this top is that the straps always comes down. Like, I wish there was something. Like, you know those little, like, things where you can make it tighter? I don't know what it's called. But I wish I had that, but it doesn't. So, I'm thinking I'm going to wear this. Oh, look at them. I got them from Fashion Nova. I feel like the leather pants would look good with this top. Hold on. I'm going to go ahead and try it. This is like a fit. I wish you guys could see the whole thing. But this is literally an outfit, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and put jewelry on. I think I'm just gonna wear one necklace, and it's just for my like. It just has my name. Honestly, guys. Also, I'm pretty sure you guys know this already, but this is not real gold. 
Everything I wear is like fake. Just kidding. I said my personality. All right. So it says Aaliyah. I look good. Okay, wait. I look good, right? See, look at this. This drop went down again. That that's gonna be really bothering me all night. But I like this outfit. Okay, I think I look really good. I'm going to go ahead and go to the gas station, get some gas, and then pick up. No, get gas. My car needs to be washed. Wash it, and then go ahead and pick up crystals. So let's go. Make a call, make a bong, 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 make a call, make a key, but the bong, 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 on the make a key.